Welcome to our story of how Goodspeed Musicals changed its future and the town of East Haddam by building a village of homes specifically for its artists. Located on the banks of the scenic Connecticut River in East Haddam, Connecticut, Goodspeed Musicals is known around the world as the home of the American musical. The nonprofit theater company produces large scale musicals at the Goodspeed Opera House and new musicals at the Norma Terrace Theater. All elements for its productions, sets, costumes, props, music, and rehearsals are created on the Goodspeed campus in the heart of the historic East Haddam Village. However, housing for this multifaceted enterprise needed to be expanded. All of our actors, technicians, and uh, creative staff come from out of town. And over time, the facilities we had became very antiquated, and it was time to build housing that was commensurate with the talents that we expect to work at the Goodspeed Opera House. In addition, uh, it fills out our uh, housing needs so that we can operate year-round, and we have now created a campus of musical theater. What makes uh, the Goodspeed Artist Housing unique uh, is that it's, it's unique for now, but it's pioneering. It's one of the first examples anywhere across the country of infilling a large number of new houses in a historic district. And in that sense, it's going to be uh, really important, not only for the Goodspeed and what it does for the Goodspeed as an institution, but it's an example for other places and institutions. Hi, we're here to talk about the construction of the project with Jim Lanz, our construction manager. Let's head inside. So Jim, tell us about the basic design for these houses. There's two basic designs, one three bedroom unit, uh, another is a six bedroom unit. Mm -hmm. uh, each unit has its, uh, each bedroom has its own private bathroom. Uh, they all have a common kitchen and a common living area. And that private bathroom is the most important thing in here, isn't it? No question. It gives uh, the actors a place to retire some peace and quiet, um, their own space. Their own space. So, you know, speaking of space, I look around here, I see a bunch of boards and wires, but tell us what's going on. This is um, in its rough state. It's been rough framed. Uh, they're working on the rough mechanicals now, um, at which point, when that's complete, we'll get the insulation. Great, let's go look at the next stage. And here's the next step after rough framing and mechanicals. We insulate, then we drywall, then we trim and paint. Um, and as you can see in the ceiling, we've got our foam insulation. We have standard fiberglass insulation in the walls with a special membrane over that. But what's really unusual is the soundproofing that we put between the bedrooms. And uh, this is mineral wool and has been placed there specifically for the comfort of the actors. Jim, exterior details were important on the project, weren't they? They were very important uh, for maintenance and durability. As you can see, the siding here is a uh, cement board. The exterior trim is PVC. The railings are all composite. Our columns are fiberglass or PVC, as are the deck boards. And then it all had to fit together to be part of the historic district and look nice too, didn't it? Oh, absolutely, and, and we really were able to pull that off with these materials. We had quite a few challenges on this one, didn't we? We had quite a few for sure. Um, we had a very aggressive timeline for the project. Uh, the village here was very, very tight, a lot in the ground. And of course, we had the worst winter in history. Yeah, that didn't help at all. Did Not it? at all. And you know, my favorite part of the whole project is right where we're standing the driveway because it's pervious concrete. Yeah, it's a, it's a new green technology that allows the rainwater to flow through the, the pavement, uh, recharge the soils beneath so that runoff doesn't run directly into the streams and, and rivers nearby here. Here we are again in another unit. As you can see, we're a little further along here. We've, we've drywalled it, we've trimmed it, we've painted it, we've installed the cabinets, appliances. What about energy efficiency? Well, the mechanicals are in, and uh, we've installed a geothermal unit to, uh, to heat and cool this. Very green, very healthy. And then material selection. I know we've got dozens of people moving in and out of here throughout the season, and had to choose things differently than you might for your own family home. No question about it. Um, everything was chosen for its durability, like the floor. Um, this right here looks just like a wood plank floor, but has the durability of vinyl. So, Jim, now that the project's over, how do you feel about it? I think it's great. I couldn't be happier with the end result, and um, I'm going to miss working with everybody here. Well, thanks for showing us around. You're very welcome. Goodspeed Musicals is the only theater in the country to have an entire village created specifically for its visiting actors, directors, choreographers, designers, and technicians. Its artist's village includes 17 new houses with 65 bedrooms, each with a private bathroom, all within walking distance of the Goodspeed Opera House. Already the new houses are receiving rave reviews from their residents.
Um, the downstairs of the house is kind of an open plan, living room, dining room, kitchen. Uh, we've got a great big dining room table where we can all eat together. The kitchen is, is large enough so that we can all, you know, cook together between shows and before our performances. And then we have a lovely, you know, living area with big comfy couches, a television, you know, a place where we can really relax and socialize. And then upstairs also the bedrooms are perfect. They're, they're nice and spacious. We've got, you know, a desk for our office supplies and computers. We've got a, a, a nice dresser to put all the clothes in. And then the best thing of all is that private bathroom. Mm -hmm. I can't even, it's amazing it having really a private is. bathroom, having lived in shared housing before. That thing is brilliant. I've worked in a lot of regional theaters around the country and um, it's always a challenge when you have to leave home to, you know, go and put on a show somewhere else. Um, but Goodspeed has created this village which really is so comfortable and they take such good care of us that we can just focus on the show itself and not have to worry about, you know, our living situation because it is really four star here. I think most people who go to the theater don't think about what happens before and after. Where do these people live? Where do they wash their clothes? Where do they make their meals? What happens when they go home at night? The question of why we supported the uh, Goodspeed's New Artist Village is, uh, is a good one. And uh, we felt, as we got to learn about it, the concept, we felt as we understood it was so good and we so believed in it and we said so we got to get behind this because we didn't want it to fail. And in our case, we decided to dedicate it to our friend Theron Musser who is a lighting designer on Broadway and um, is also uh, in the community. So when people go and stay in their room, they become part of history. The East Haddam Village is very excited to have the addition of the Artist Village because the Opera House is already a premier destination for tourism. The Artist Village brings an extra addition to our concept to redevelop the whole downtown with mixed, mixed commercial use and bed and breakfast, campus style, stay vacation. The village uh, is a kind of uh, a child of a long tradition of New England uh, arcing cottages. Uh, they really hark back to uh, places like Oak Bluffs and Martha's Vineyard, which were originally uh, summer colonies, uh, houses close together, often related families. Uh, and that crescent uh, is a very interesting form. What it really does is take the individual houses and turn them into a unified gesture. Goodspeed brought to the theater world the only village for musical theater. This is a total campus devoted to musical theater. It's housing for over 100 people. It's production centers to build scenery and costumes. And it's two theaters. There isn't another institution in this country with this array of support, both physically and creatively. Thanks for joining us as Goodspeed Musical has created a unique village for its visiting artists and helped revitalize this historic New England town. For more information, please visit goodspeed.org.